By the final quarter of 2011 Bali had experienced a surge in foreign arrivals of nearly 12%. Bali is an island offering anything we want to make of it. There are so many things to do and acquaintances to be made. Bali is essentially a reflection of what the individual brings to the island. If you play golf, you may see only the fairways and greens through the entirety of your stay. You may be equally happy if you choose to spend your time in pampered luxury, completely impervious to the myriad of attractions the island has on offer. If your visit has purpose, to ride the surf, dive the wrecks, raft the rivers or climb the volcanoes there will be no adrenaline disappointments. Bali is a meeting place or extremes. A place where cutting edge movers and shakers mix hand in hand with the custodians of an ancient culture coming to grips with the constant evolution of its existence. Life in modern day Bali is about finding the balance between these two vastly different worlds. The Bali that so many of us have come to love began in the rice fields many centuries ago. From such simple origins come very elaborate family and community structures. This is critical to understand in order to better understand the island and its people. The guaranteed outcome of such comprehension is a greater love for Bali and her people. To the Balinese nothing stands of more value than the family. The very old and the very young are cradled and spoiled in Balinese culture. The first thing a little girl is taught at school is how to make a broom from the wisps of coconut ferns. This is just one example of how important the simple aspects of life are to the Balinese people. Bali's fame and occasional notoriety has often been of a scale much larger than its own physical size. More than 2000 years ago Bali flourished as a major player during the Bronze Age. Perhaps the island's most unrecognized accomplishment is the carving of an intricate layout of tumbling rice terraces from an overgrown tropical jungle. Though often ruled over the centuries by outside forces, the Balinese heritage has remained proud and influential through ancient and modern times. The Javanese developed dominion over the island in the 12th century and it was not until the 15th that the Balinese people regained independence. Since then the island has found itself in the hands of several masters including the Dutch and Portuguese. By the early 1990s Bali was center of the international tourism stage. Mass tourism in the form of millions of arrivals brought the power of the dollar to Bali and every major hotel chain operated at least one property. Bali was responsible for the development of a new breed of luxury tropical resorts inspired by Saner's Tanjung Sari Hotel. Subsequent developments akin to the Tanjung soon appeared including the Amandari and Four Seasons resorts which both held the title of world's best resort. Bali was setting a new international standard for luxury accommodation and service, something that has continued to this very day. Modern day Bali is a destination for discerning and everyday travelers. Catering for the needs of all, the island is and will remain for years to come one of the premier holiday destinations on earth.